Hi, I'm Christy with PK1HomeschoolFun.com, and I'm so excited to finally have gotten my hands on some Apologia curriculum. Um, so I don't know if you're like me, but uh, as even, you know, I've been homeschooling for coming up on eight years, and ever since the beginning, I, it's so crazy. I've always had that nagging feeling, that sneaky suspicion that, you know, there's got to be, I think there's other curriculum out there that's better than what I'm using. And I feel like all the other homeschool families know what it is and no one is telling me what it is. So um, I always struggle with that. That's why I just really, really love and appreciate the opportunity to, to do sponsored posts like this because it gives me a chance to actually feel the curriculum, work through it, get an idea of it. And in turn to help you because what is one of the, what are one of the hardest things about homeschooling is what, especially when you first get started, you just get completely inundated by all the bazillion kinds of curriculum out there. And it's can be really overwhelming. So hopefully this video will help you decide if this particular curriculum is right for your family. So this is Apologia's Exploring Creation with Earth Science. And this is an elementary curriculum. And so you can use this for uh, grades kindergarten all the way through sixth grade. So their um, recommended ages fall about five to 12 um, for their age range. Uh, I really appreciate that um, because, you know, you're probably going to want to go through earth science maybe twice with your kids, depending on how it plays out for your family. And so a kindergartner is going to get something completely different than a fifth grader will. And what's really cool is that you can do this all together as a family. So, you know, some subjects are really hard to do that with, like math, for example. Um, but for science, I really enjoy doing it together with all my kids at the, at, you know, at their different ages. Um, and it's so easy to, to kind of teach at one level and then adjust for above and below based on your ages. What is really cool about this curriculum is that it comes with a notebooking journal. So the notebooking journal um, is really, in my opinion, the golden piece to this puzzle. So um, they have two notebooking journals. One is for um, the younger years. So this is for kindergarten through second. And then there's another notebooking journal for the older grades. And this is filled with all sorts of different activities. Um, there's some cut and paste activities that go along with the reading. Uh, there's um, uh, let's see what I did, what I learned. You draw pictures and um, explanations of what you learned through the activities. There's coloring pages. So one of the things that works really well is for your little ones to sit and color their coloring pages while uh, you're reading the lesson to everybody. Because, uh, you know, it's hard for little ones to just sit and sit and listen, you know, so all sorts of stuff in here. And I, of course, am a printables nerd. So I love seeing stuff like this. That's beautifully and, and very wonderfully done. Um, I, I really like, you know, they have got printable mini books and spinning wheels and all sorts of stuff. That's really neat. Uh, let's see, their textbook is a full color textbook. And that is another thing that I really appreciate about this is that this curriculum uses real life pictures and they're there's a couple of science curriculums out there that use a lot of clip art and drawings, um, which is which is good. But you know, especially since this is earth science, it really helps to have um, real you know real life pictures. And uh, the pages are completely full of pictures, so it's text and pictures, and they're just beautiful, beautiful pictures. It also has pictures of the activities, you know, what they're supposed to look like as well. So that helps. So one of the cool things about this curriculum, one of its strong points is that it uses this ebb and flow of, uh, it has a little, uh, a small paragraph of an introduction on worldview. So this is a Bible-based curriculum, and it, but it just introduces it. It introduces the concept that you're going to be talking about in the lesson, has a scripture to ponder, so you can take that further if you want to. And then throughout the text, there are a couple, you know, references that tie in the biblical connection. Um, but that's pretty much the scope of, of the biblical aspect of the science curriculum. And I really appreciate that. So I have been burned by a different curriculum. Um, I actually have not even looked at any kind of Christian science curriculum since my, since the big incident <laughs> many years ago. Um, I, I had ended up spending quite a bit of money for an entire year's 
uh, science curriculum for all of my kids. And it was a Christian science curriculum, but um, it, it did not meet my expectations at all. As we got into it, it just ended up being a horrible, horrible experience. And to be honest, I never went back. I never looked again at a Christian science curriculum. So um, I just want to say thank you to Apologia for bringing me some healing in this area because I really needed it. <laughs> so um, it was really cool to be honest. I mean, completely honest. It was really cool to see how uh, a science curriculum can be Christian based and have a, a biblical worldview, but not have like a hidden agenda and um, not sacrifice the science. But one of the cool things, like I said, was kind of the rhythm of it. So it starts out with a paragraph of, the, of worldview and then gets into the lesson. But before you get too far into the reading, it, uh, it um, right away has an activity to do. And so the activities are another part of this curriculum that is a major, major winning point. So uh, the activities are uh, very simple for the most part. There are some that are a little more involved, like we made the expanding putty. Um, so that, of course, you're mixing glue and borax and such to make a to make kind of like a putty slime. And then, um, you know, but some of them are very simple. Like we did another activity that was um, talking about volcanoes and how volcanoes are formed and create land masses. And so that was as simple as, you know, putting some flour on a plate and then pouring some melted butter on it and then observing to see what happens to the land mass. Um, and then some of it is as simple as boiling an egg and cracking it and taking a look at the cracks and how they formed and um, using that as a discussion on tectonic plates. Uh, some of them are a little bit more involved. For example, there is a really awesome um, activity where you make like a paper mache type globe. And then as you progress through the curriculum throughout the year, you're adding things to that globe that correspond to what you're learning. So you're starting with the geosphere and then and you're adding hydrosphere and you're adding land masses and then you're, you know, you're labeling things and adding islands and lines of longitude and latitude. And so you're using, and then you use the globe as part of your activities and experiments. So you're using, you're the globe that you made and you're using it to, you know, talk about um, the orbits and sunlight and day and all those different things. So it's really kind of a neat thing. And then of course, at the end of the year, you have this amazing globe that you've made. So um, I counted over 70 activities in this book. So that is actually really neat. And especially because um, here's another confession time. <laughs> so I love science and I love science experiments. And so when I'm planning for the year, I get super excited and I'm thinking, oh, we're going to do all these amazing science experiments. And, you know, I order all the materials. And so I actually right now have tons of science experiment materials in my cabinet. In my, I actually have a whole cabinet just de designated for science experiments. Uh, items. Um, and they're, they're just things that we never even got to, uh, this, this last year. So, um, I do feel a little bit of mom guilt, um, because I get so excited about these amazing exper experiments that we're going to do. And then by the end of the year, we haven't even like barely gotten into it. So I really appreciate that. I feel like these activities are doable. They are like looking at this curriculum. I feel I could do this and I could finish it, right? Because it's one thing to do something, but it's nothing to finish it. So I really felt like this is very peaceful. Um, and especially if you take the time over the summer or month by month, whatever, if you take the time to go through and um, gather all of your materials and make like a science tote, then this actually turns into pretty much an open and go type of curriculum. So in the back of the book of the textbook, there is a supply list. It's very simple, very just laid out by lesson. And this also, here's a little tip for you. Um, if you go to their website and you, and you go to this, um, to this product on their store, there's a link to, uh, to an interactive online sample of this textbook. And in that link is the supply list. So if you want to know, okay, what are the types of things I'm going to be needing to buy for this? You can just take a look at that and know that, okay, you don't need all this fancy science equipment. You just maybe need some graham crackers and sprinkles <laughs> or whatever. So um, also all of those links will be on my website. I'll link to it below this video as well. If you go to my website, pk1kids.com, and then search for my blog post on Apologia's Exploring Creation with Earth Science. Uh, you will find my blog post and all of the um, links that you need to learn more about this.
So you really get into a great rhythm of doing your lesson, reading a couple of pages in your lesson, doing your hands-on activity, and then using the notebooking journal. So this is really, like I said, this is the golden piece of the puzzle or piece of the curriculum in my opinion. So to start off, let me show you at the beginning, there is a suggested weekly schedule. And um, this shows two lessons a week and it goes through uh, 28 weeks. So that's another thing I appreciate because I have curriculum that's 36 weeks and at the end of the year, we're scrambling. We are scrambling to get it done in time. So 28 weeks, oh my goodness, so comfortable. Two days a week of science, super comfortable. But here's the cool thing, this rhythm that I was talking about. So you, you know, read a couple pages in your book, do a small little activity, and then you do a couple pages in your notebooking journal and they all correlate with the lesson that you're reading and then of course if you have older kids they're using the older kid version of this and then your younger kids are using the younger kid version so uh, for example like i said we did that expanding putty um, activity and then you have a little cut and paste activity where you're cutting the circles out and you're gluing them in the right spots and then uh, making a little flip up and then underneath you're writing your notes about what you learned. So, you know, how is the universe expanding? An understanding frame of reference, is there a center of the universe? So just applying, trying to remember what you learned during the lesson and applying that to what you know and then writing it down in here. So um, that is where I think, personally, I think this curriculum really shines, is that pairing the textbook with a small activity and then, um, writing something in your notebooking journal. So that is an overview of this curriculum. And of course we have to talk about price. Um, I will say that I was very pleasantly surprised at the price point of this curriculum because uh, um, I know prices change and stuff. So by the time you watch this video, it might not be the same. It is for on sale right now. Um, but it's coming in under $60 for both the textbook and the notebooking journal. And the textbook is reusable. So um, that is, I think, a, an extreme value uh, for something that's going to last for an entire year. Um, so I feel like that was a comfortable price for that. So um, I hope this video has helped you decide if this is a good curriculum for you and your family. Hop on over to my website, pk1kids.com. Check out my blog post on this. Also, all of the fun links below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I hope this has helped you and your family in some way. And remember, as always, to follow the fun.